Hi, I'm going to read a little excerpt from the book Birth Without Violence by Frederick Le Boyer. This book was written in the 1970s and was really cutting edge at the time. It considers the perspective of birth from the baby's point of view of how it may feel to be born, particularly in a very medicalised birth, rather than just thinking about it from how the mother experiences it. I read it during my baby massage classes because it points out how important touch is to babies and positive touch in particular um, and just puts things into context a little bit about undoing any potential trauma that a baby might have experienced when it's being born. This is this little bit that I tend to read. A few words about the hands which will hold the newborn baby. These hands are the first thing that the child will encounter. The language they speak is the primal language, the language of touch. This is how mother and child were communicating. It was through the child's back that he received her messages. Now that he's born, naked and disoriented, the way we touch him is crucial. Firstly, the hands should move very, very slowly. Everything we do for the newborn baby is too rushed, too hurried for one who is only just entering time. At this moment, what the child needs is to be massaged, just as newborn animals need to be licked by their mothers, the act without which they often die. It is most important that the hands that will massage the baby's back can rediscover the rhythm he knows the rhythm of the contractions, the rhythm that moves with the outward breath. What the child wants to feel again is not the wild fury, the storm of labour, but the embracing waves that told him of his mother's love. Our hands should travel along his back, one following the other, like wave after wave breaking onto the seashore. The rhythm of dances, of lovers. Yet what is it lovers are looking for, if not to heal the rift, return to the primal sea, rediscover its infinite pulse, a return to paradise, a pilgrimage back to the source. Now I don't know what birth experiences the babies have gone through who come to my baby massage sessions. But why I read that piece is to reassure mums that if they feel that the birth, perhaps from the baby's perspective, was not a very positive experience, they can undo some of that trauma by the amazing massage strokes they are giving their baby, teaching their baby that, birth, that touch can be a really positive thing and not associated with the negativity of their birth.